The National Football League has traveled south of the border as we are in Mexico City, Mexico on EA Sports. Today we've got another installment of the International Series and it should be a good one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New Orleans Saints. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Mexico City. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he'll wind up losing five yards or so on the return, but no matter, they've got the football back. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. Ready. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at the 45. 
They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll go as a loss of five. And it'll be a second and long. Ready, 95, 56, 50, 50's a mic, 50's a mic. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. <laughs> the play clock getting low, so Sean Payton says let's take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second and 15 now. Breeze. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Breeze. And the pressure gets to Breeze as he's taken down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! At their own 19-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the ground, this is Williams. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. To throw on second and six. Mahomes, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A.J. Klein, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Attack, attack! On third and long, it's Mahomes. Got a man, it's complete. Williams, 23 yards on the play. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Wide, wide! 
So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. On the toss, here's Williams. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That really sets him back, a loss of six. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 16, Mahomes, he'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. And they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. Yeah, McCoy is going to be stopped up short. He didn't get it. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. It's fourth down. Yellow. 47 to Mike. 47. Check, check. 47. There's a party now. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. We're scoreless after one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Williams. And some room to maneuver. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. An 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. Big Sheldon Rankins there to bring him down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? No chance at all. Way easier said than yellow, done. Yellow. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. I'll get him, get him. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And he'll take this from the 9 down to about the 7. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. Check 25, check 25. 
They stay on the ground. This time it's Williams. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Looking to throw is Mahomes. And it's caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive, they've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. The Saints on offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. This is their third drive right now, maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Breeze now. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. 
Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Yellow, 180. Check, check, <laughs> Mahomes looks to throw on third down, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Yellow on the blue Throwing on first down is Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Mahomes now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Mahomes. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Mahomes will bring him up first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's got it. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they... He's got a man complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. First down. Ready. First down, Jan, at the 36-yard line. Mark 50, Mark 50, Mark 50. I got one, I got one. Watch twist, watch twist, watch twist, 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 twist. Throwing now is Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now Breeze gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Here we go. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Go, 
kill. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Five, five. Push him back. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Now Breeze. Now Breeze lost the football. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This one from 48 yards away. The kick by Lutz is good. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This is taken at his four. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Darren Lee, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. To try again after the sack. Breeze. Looking for Gannon, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin of...
From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. This will be taken short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the third.